How's it going, everyone? I'm the Sergeant Dame, and welcome back aboard the Nostalgia Train. <sighs> Unfortunately, Pink Fox is not here to help us get through the beginning of Act 2 of the story, the main story of DDLC, firstly. But secondly, we're done with this, right? We are completely 100% done with this? Yeah. Alright. But we did get a new picture. I wonder where it was. Hello? Hello? Wait, what was the one we got? Oh, this. A rough concept sketch of what the faceless protagonist might have looked like if he was a real character. Okay. He looks like a professor of a school, but okay. <laughs> He's supposed to be a student. Anyway, that being seen, let's get back to the actual... Main game. Doki, Doki. That was so off. <laughs> All right, let's get started. Uh, I don't speak code. Someone decipher this. <laughs> I see an annoying girl running toward me. Yeah, if a girl was going <laughs> towards me, yeah, I'd be annoyed too. Um, from the distance. Waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl... <laughs> well, no wonder she speaks like that. My neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know... The kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today. But it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. We used to walk to school together on days like this. But starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently. Now we get tired of waiting up. What? If she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However... I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and then catch up to me. Okay, never mind. It's an ordinary school day, like any other. Okay. Mornings are usually the worst. Being surrounded by couples and friend groups walking to school together. Meanwhile, I've always walked to school alone. I always tell myself it's about time I meet some girls or something like that. But I have no motivation to join any clubs. I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. I mean... I'm kinda similar to that, but not quite the same. It's always the anime club. But it's not like there would be any girls in it anyway. That's funny. I've met quite a few women who actually do like anime a lot, so that's bull. That statement is bull. The school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pick up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. There really aren't any that interest me. Besides, most of them would pr probably be way too demanding for me to want to deal with. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Pink Fox? We're really starting to glitch out now. Monica? Oh my goodness! I totally didn't expect to see you here. It's been a while, right? Uh, yeah, it has. It's only been like two weeks. One week? Five weeks? Well, what? Eh. One week. I mean, sure, Monica may have showed up on the screen last week, on last week's episode, I don't remember, but... It wasn't really interaction. I mean, not really. It's one statement, but... That's about it. Sure, we'll go with the ad has. 
Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talked. But we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically, completely out of my league. So, having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... What did you come in here for anyway? Oh, I've just been looking for some cue balls. He is for my club. Do you know if there's any construction paper in here? Did I just say that wrong? I'm pretty sure it wasn't pupils. I've been looking for some pupils! <laughs> We're going to experiment on them and make sure they know how to write properly, or we will beat them with a ruler. <laughs> oh, jeez. Monica's insane. <laughs> At least didn't know that already, but, you know. How did I get pupils out of supplies? Somebody answer this for me, please. <laughs> Monica is officially insane. <laughs> Do you know if there's any construction paper in here? Or markers? Um, I guess you could check the closet. You're the debate club, right? <laughs> About that. I actually quit the debate club. Really? You quit? Yeah. To be honest, I can't stand all the po the politics around the major. Yeah. I completely understand that factor. I f it feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I completely understand that, actually much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. In that case, what club did you decide to join? Actually, I'm starting a new one. Uh, whoa! Uh, a, a literature club. I get it. That sounds kind of dull. How many members do you have so far? Um, <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing, but there are only three of us so far. It's really hard to find new members for something that sounds so boring. Well, I can see that. But it's not really boring at all, you know. Literature can be anything. Reading, writing, poetry. I mean, one of my members even keeps her manga collection in the club room. Wait, really? Yeah, it's funny, right? She always insists that manga is literature, too. I mean, she's not wrong, I guess. And besides, a member's a member, right? Did Monica say she... Hey, Pink Fox, my eyes are up here! By any chance, are you still looking for a club to join? Uh, I mean, I guess so, but... In that case, is there any chance you could do me a big favor? I won't ask you to join, but... If you could, at the very least, visit my club, it would make me really happy. Please? Uh... Well, I, I guess I have no reason to refuse. Besides, how could I ever refuse someone like Monica? Like this. No thank you. Sure, I guess I could check it out. Ah, awesome! You're really sweet, Pink Fox, you know that? It's nothing, really. Shall we go, then? I'll look for the materials another time. You're more important. OK. 
Okay. Let's get the hell over to the class. And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul to the devil. I mean, Monica. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, just this one time. And her irresistible smile. I dejectedly follow Monica across the school and upstairs. She demonizingly looks back at me and gives like this menacing glare. It's like she's plotting something. I can't figure it out, but I mean, <clears throat> that's totally not the dialogue. A section of the school I rarely visit. Monica, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. I'm back. Whoa. Part of my voice crack. Holy crap. And I brought a guest with me. Whoa. Okay. Okay. We can stop the glitching now. Huh? A, a guest? Seriously? You brought a boy? Natsuki, you said that last time. Way to kill the atmosphere. Don't be so mean, Natsuki. That... That was Monica. Don't be so mean, Natsuki. Anyway, welcome to the club, Pink Fox. I thought I said I wasn't going to join yet. All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. So let me guess. You're Monica's boyfriend, right? Monica wishes. No, I'm not. Natsuki? The girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes her look like a first-year student. Anyway, this is Natsuki. Energetic as always. And this is Yuri, the vice president. It's nice to meet you. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with someone like Natsuki. Yeah, it's nice to meet both of you. So I ran into Pink Fox in a classroom, and he decided to come check out the club. At least you're not bending the truth, that is true. Isn't that great? Wait, Monica! Didn't I tell you to let me know in advance before you brought anyone new? Technically not new, just checking it out. I was going to, well, you know. Sorry, sorry. I didn't forget that, but it just happened to run into him. In that case, I should at least make some tea, right? Yeah, that would be great. Why don't you come sit down, Pink Fox? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. Yuri walks to the corner of the, of the room and opens the closet. Meanwhile, Monica and Natsuki sit across from each other. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Monica. So I know you didn't really plan on coming here, but we'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. I'm surprised there aren't more. I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. Must be hard to start a new club, all that. If you could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. You know what, that's a fair statement to make. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. Makes sense. But it makes school events, like the festival, that much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, Natsuki? Well, I guess. Natsuki reluctantly agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goals. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these two. 
Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. He carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot in the middle. You keep a whole tea... The glitchiness is rubbing off on me. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, was it a hot cup of tea? Help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I, I, I guess. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. But that's not... Insulted, Yuri looks away. I'm not the... You know... I believe you. Well... Tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. So, King Fox, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh, considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Actually, I can concur with that statement. The last book I fully finished was, um, well, we'll go with the series. The last series I finished was a book series called The School for Good and Evil. That was like four years ago. Manga. I mutter. I, I, I mutter quietly to myself, half jokingly. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. She looks like she wants to say something. But she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What did I say? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Advanced literature. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. So, you would love Harry Potter or Lord of the Rings then, huh? The level of creativity... <laughs> the level of creativity and craftsmanship behind this them is amazing to me, Oops. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Here he goes on passionate about her reading. She seems reserved. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in. But it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can be so deliberate? How a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Hey! I got a big imagination, thank you! <laughs> anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. I read a horror book once. I desperately grasped something I can relate to at the minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. <laughs> I'd expect that from you, Yuri. It suits your personality. I've been doing the accent for Yuri way too much. Oh, is that so? Really? If a story makes me think, or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Okay, I can relate to that. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Oh, why is that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right. You usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of paper. 
scrap paper behind last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called... Don't say it out loud! And give that back! I'm fine. Natsuki, you write your own poems? Eh, well, I guess sometimes. And now Dave's got the hiccups. That started at a random time. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share that then sometime? No! Natsuki averts her eyes. I wouldn't like him. Uh, not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. Actually, yeah. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. I just don't do that because I. this is how I do it. Utu. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. I, I guess it's the same for Yuri. We all sit in silence for a moment. Hey, I just got an idea. How about this? Oh boy, you got everyone's attention. What kind of shenanigans are you pulling this time? Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's go home. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then, next time we meet, We'll all share them with each other. That way everyone is even. Um, uh, I mean, I thought it was a good idea. Well, you did ask. You suggested it. You did not say do it. You suggested it. So, you're still in the clear. Right now. Just be careful. Well, I think you're right, Monica. We should probably start finding activities for all of us to participate in together. I did decide to take on the responsibility of Vice President after all. I need to do my best to nurture the club as well as its members. Besides, now that we have a new member, it seems like a good step for us to take. Do you agree as well, Pink Fox? Yeah. Makes sense. That logic does make sense. Hold on. There's still one problem. Huh? What's that? Now that we've reached the most important topic, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join the club. Monica may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and... Um... I lose my train of thought. All three girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. Where's Sayori when you need her? Oh yeah, right. But... I'm sorry, I thought... <laughs> huh? The girls exchange glances before Monica turns back to me. I guess I need to tell you the truth, Pink Fox. The thing is, we don't have enough members yet to form an official club. We need four. And I've been trying really, really hard to find new members. And if we don't find one more before the festival... I get it. At least you gave me good reason. In the first, in Act 1, you basically just had to. You, you just felt overwhelmed, so you just did it. I, I'm defenseless against these girls. Okay, same dialogue. Same dialogue. Same dialogue. Same dialogue! Come on! Give me something new! If writing poems is the price I need to pay. I think I've read the, I've read all of this already! Oh my goodness! Really? That's new. Do you 
be that big boss? Yeah. It can be fun, right? We really did scale. Okay, that's the same. That's the same. This isn't. Okay. Big Fox, I'm so happy! You can become an official club now. Thank you so much for this. You're really amazing. I'll do everything I can to give you a great time, okay? Okay. So, no demonizing rituals at all or anything like that? Promise? Thanks. I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment? Write a poem to bring the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Pink Fox, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> yeah. I really impressed the class star, Monica, with my mediocre writing skills. I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as Yuri cleans up the tea set. Guess I'll be on my way then. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow then. I can't wait. Cool. With that, I depart the club room and make my way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the three girls. Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Would I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Maybe? Alright. I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances, and I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Okay. You have unlocked a special poem. Would you like to read it? Sure. That is not a poem! Okay. Alright. Um, I'm gonna try to do Natsuki. I don't know if it matters at this point, but I wanna try play. Clumsy. Uh, cheeks. Joy. Oh, that's. What the hell? It's not just me, right? You guys saw that? Things are getting really weird. I thought I said no demonic rituals. Lollipop. Sweet. Uh, clouds. Boop. Poof. Why? Sing. Okay, that one was normal. Hair. Ribbon. Milk. Giggle. Anime. Hope. Oh, never mind. Jump. <laughs> okay. Hi. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. <laughs> nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me. But I at least kept my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last to come in. So everyone else is already hanging out. Stop with the glitches, God! Thanks for keeping your promise, Big Fox. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Are you seriously? Oh, come on! Like he deserves any slack. You already had to be dragged here by Monica. I don't know if you plan on to just come here and hang out or what. But if 
you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Whoa, hey, can I please read what's behind? I'm just going to a... Monica! Natsuki certainly has a big mouth for someone who keeps him. Mo oh, Natsuki, you certainly. I think I actually have read that before. Monica! Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. Manga is literature! Swiftly defeated, Natsuki flops back into her seat. I'm sorry, Pink Fox. Well, make sure you put your comforts first, okay? Yuri shoots Natsuki with a disappointed glance. Um, anyway, now that you're in the club and all, perhaps you might have interest in picking up a book to read. Well, I can't really say no either way. <laughs> like you said, I'm in the club now. So it only feels right for me to do something that like that, if you ask. Wait, I didn't mean it like that. Oh, don't worry, Yuri, I was planning on it anyway. In fact, if the pink box in the game is technically me, so... Hold up. Don't go nowhere. Very short book, but one that was done in my high school creative writing class, so, you know, it's suitable. Whoa, whoa. Um, um, I just noticed this now. Yuri, did you get closer? Ah. Uh. <laughs> I can still see it. Okay. There. We're good. Alright, fine. Fine. If you don't really want to, then forget I said anything, I guess. Oh, no, 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 no. It's not that, Yuri. I want to try to be part of this club. So, even if I don't re read often, I'd be happy to pick up a book if you wanted me to. I'm sh I swear to God, it's closer. Uh, are you sure? I just felt like, well, as vice president and all, that I should help you get started on something you might like. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. Can we please stop being so damn close, Yuri? I didn't want you to feel left out. So I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so I should keep your attention. So it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it. I if you want it. Th this is... How is this girl accidentally being so cute? She is closer, right? I'm not losing my damn mind. Well, no, I'm definitely doing that. She even picked out a book she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Whew! Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. There we go. Okay, we're back to normal. I knew it. I knew we were closer. I knew it. Now that everyone's settled in, I expected Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. That doesn't seem to be the case. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around the closet. Ugh. I hear Natsuki utter an exasperated sigh from within the closet. Have I already read this? She seems to be annoyed by something. I approach her in case she needs a hand. What up, Natsuki? You looking for something in there? Fucking Monica! Uh, would you say what? She never puts my stuff back in the right spot. What's the point? 
point in keeping your collection organized if something else is just gonna mess it up? Natsuki slides a bunch of stacked books and boxes across the shelf. Manga. You mean Monica, right? Manga, not Monica. Not Monica. That was a joke for a different video. Uh, sometimes. Manga is one of those things where you can't admit you're really into until you figure out where the other person stands. How did you know, anyway? I heard you bring it up at some point. Besides, it's kind of written on your face. What's that supposed to mean? I see. There's a lone volume of manga amidst a stack of various books on the side of one of the shelves. Curious, pull it out of the sack. There it is! Natsuki snatches it out of my hand. She then turns to a box of manga and slips the volume right into the middle of the rest. Ah, much better! Seeing a box that with one book missing is probably the most irritating sight in the world. I know the feeling. Let me get a closer look at the box she's said she's admiring. Parfait Girls? It's a series I've never heard of in my life. That probably means it's either way out of my demographic, or it's simply terrible. If you're gonna judge, you can do it through the glass on the door. She points to the costume door. Hey, I wasn't judging anything. I didn't even say anything. The tone. It was the tone of your voice. But I'll tell you one thing, Pink Fox. Whoa! Whoa! Don't judge a book. Okay. In fact, Natsuki pulls out the first volume of Perfect Girls from the box. I'm going to show you exactly why. She shoves the book right into my hands. Ah. I stare at the cover. Features four girls in colorful attire, striking animated feminine poses. It's exceedingly mo. Don't just stand there. Huh? Natsuki grabs my arm and pulls me out of the closet. She then takes a seat against the wall beneath the windowsills. That's on the ground next to her. So you need me to sit there. Can the chairs be more comfortable? I take my seat. Chairs wouldn't work. You can't read at the same time like that. Huh? Why's that? Uh, I, I guess it's easier to be close together like this. Don't say it. Just say that. It'll make me feel weird about it. Natsuki crosses her arms and scooches an inch away from me. Sorry. I didn't expect it. I didn't exactly expect to be sitting this close to her either. Not that I can say it's a particularly bad thing. I open the book. It's only a few seconds before Natsuki once again inches closer claiming the additional space while she hopes I won't notice. I can feel her peering over my shoulder, much more eager to begin reading than I am. Than I am. Emphasis on the I, not the am. Wow, how long has it been since I read the beginning? Huh? You don't go back and flip through the older volumes every now and then? Not really. Maybe sometimes after I've already finished the series? Kind of that way. Like, if you were to go through, like, a story. Or, like, a series of books. It's supposed to be end with a series of six, and it has four books out. The fifth one's about to come out, so you're and you finished the fourth one a while ago. So you're like, you know what, I'm going to go back through the other four, read them again, that way I can be caught up. That kind of thing. That's what I would do. But otherwise, I'm kind of the same way. I wouldn't really reread. Unless I have nothing else to read. Maybe sometimes after I... Oh, I read that. Hey, are you paying attention? Yes. Uh, I am. But nothing's really happened yet. Well, I can talk at the same time. 
It looks like it's about a bunch of friends in high school. Isn't that most manga, though, if it's not, like, superhero shenanigans? Typical slice of life affair. Kind of grew out of these, since it's rare for the writing to be entertaining enough to make up for the lack of plot. Haven't we already read this? I'm pretty sure we've already read this. I'm looking through these and I recognize every single one of them. I mean, if you guys think we have it and you want to pause and read it, go ahead, but... I'm pretty sure we've already... This is basically the same as before. Okay. You know what? My goodness. We're just skipping through this. It is literally the same dialogue as before. So basically, I'm keeping an eye unless I see something new. Wait. What? That might have been new. I think I accidentally skipped. Wait. You still haven't grown out of that yet? Make you want to punch him in the face. Wait. I know those kind of people. Oh, no, yeah, I've read this. It's been a while, but I've read this. I thought I missed something, but... Wait, which part? I mean, I feel like I can't even keep it in my own room. My dad will beat the shit out of me if I... Whoa! That was new! Okay, hold on, we're rewinding. My brain got fixated. Okay, those last, wait. Yeah, the beating the shit out of her, that wasn't in the original, but the rest of them are there. At least she's staying here in the club room. Except Monica's kind of a jerk about it. Ugh! I just can't win, can I? Oh, where is this going? Well, it paid off in the end, didn't it? I mean, here I am, reading it. Extreme negative aura! I can't, no. You know what? We're saving, we're saving here, we'll come back to it later, but I do want to check something. Is there anything new? Absolutely nothing. Okay, we're going to leave this video here then. We'll continue on with the main story later on, one way or the other. Thanks for joining in on this episode of Doki Doki Literature Club, guys. If you liked it, make sure to push that like button, and so far you can't see it anymore. This is a very dim what the f- There's your proof. This is a demonizing episode. Um, he no like it. Also, I think I noticed those two look different than the first time around, too. We'll continue on with the Demonic Act 2 next time. But for right now, yeah, I'm going to leave this video here. Want to check out any other um, visual novels that we've stopped? This train has stopped by on this channel before. Click the link up on the right corner train to take you to that destination. Or if you missed any of the stops on this right, click the link across right here and the train to take you there. In the meantime, this train's off to its next destination, but we hope to catch you guys in another ride. Bye.